Hi there, welcome to the RPS Project. Today I'm going to be looking at the CD4001, which is a quad to input NOR gate. One of these little things, in matter of fact. Um, the one I've got comes in a 14 pin plastic package, as I've got in here. Um, it's a very basic IC, um, hopefully I'll uh, understand it a bit more once I've had a look at it. It is simple, so um, let's get started with the uh, whiteboard. Okay, so a quick diagram of the actual IC itself. Very simple, follows sort of fairly sort of convention when it comes to these uh, these logic ICs, and, and a lot of ICs seem to be having a similar sort of layout. CD4001, we have four of these uh, um, NOR gates in there. Um, it's a two input quad NOR gate, so that's what it is. Four of them in the package. Labelling convention, obviously 14 pin. Um, pin 14 supply, pin seven your ground or um, VSS, so simple basic there. And the gates are numbered in the normal sort of way. Inputs starts with, so A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and then the outputs, J, K, L, and M. So very, very simple. It's, um, you know, choose which one you want to use and um, use the appropriate uh, inputs and outputs for that. And obviously you're going to power it. Now with this, I believe it takes, let's have a quick look. Um, oh yeah. So in between three and 18 volts on your power um, to make this circuit work, right? So shove that in, um, put it in your circuit and uh, see what happens. Well, actually I'm gonna do that, um, but first I'm gonna show you the actual circuit that I'm going to be using. So let's um, change this and show you what we're gonna have on the breadboard. So here's the actual diagram of the circuit I'm gonna be using. Very simple, we've got one of the uh, NOR gates. Sitting here, uh, nine volt rail, which is supplying the circuit and everything, including the uh, IC. Uh, on this side, for my inputs, basically, I just got two um, resistor dividers with a switch after it. So basically, um, when the switch is open, there's no input. And when I press the switch, I get an input. Um, I have put this here, which is a resistor capacitor, on the inputs after the switch. This is just to stabilize this uh, input because <coughs> I have found with these ICs that if you leave it floating, it tends to have a bit of a problem, gives you sort of all sorts of weird stuff going on or just plain doesn't work. Um, so yeah, that just makes sure that that um, input is tied to ground and makes it all nice and stable. And then obviously you put the uh, switch down and uh, it gives an input. The values of these resistors really are based on the voltages that you're using because you have to look at the data sheet and decide what the logic level is, what the level of voltage is required for this to say, well, I count that as a, as a low voltage, so it's zero, or I count it as a high voltage and it's a one. So it'll um, either count it as a low, no input, or high, an input. So that resistor divider is, values is gonna be based on, on what those uh, values are on the data sheet and what your supply voltage is. In this case, I'm using nine volts and what I've got is going to give me, I think it's about four and a half volts or somewhere around that on the input. Because I think the low level is about three volts. So if I fall too close to three volts on the input, it doesn't detect it. So about four and a half volts seems to work. And on the output, I've just got an LED because the way that these work, all the inputs and outputs are already buffered. So I don't need any other circuitry. I could put a resistor in there, but I don't really need it. It'll just take what it requires to operate. And that's the circuit. So really, that's really very simple. Um, so I suppose I better have a look at it actually in action. Okay, so here's the circuit. Uh, I've got it on the breadboard, very simple. Um, the IC, um, my resistor dividers. At the back here, I've got the uh, little resistor capacitor to um, tie down the the inputs and an LED. These two resistors, I'll uh, I'll come to that in a moment, but basically 
we have a circuit, it's exceptionally simple, uh, if I turn it on, it's a NOR gate, so without any inputs it gives me an output, so it's giving me a 1 really, but uh, if I press either one of the inputs, because it's an OR, um, inverted, NOR gate, then it goes off, so uh, one input gives me a zero output and it doesn't matter if I press one of them or both of them at the same time any input turns off the output so yeah very very simple now I said I'd use this resistor divider to give me about four and a half volts so let me just bring this uh, multimeter in just make sure we've got this in shot connect this up uh, now if I've done this right and I look at let's say this uh, switch here it's not switched at the moment and hopefully you can see I've got 4.8 volts on there so when I press this button that goes to the IC and turns off the LED brilliant now the logic levels require to have a certain amount of voltage onto the input so I'm just going to turn this off just going to swap this resistor for this one uh, and I can't even remember what that is I think it's like uh, this one is a, a 900 I think it's a 920 ohm resistor it's just under 1k and this one is a one and a half k so it's going to drop that voltage and make it a much lower so if I turn it on got my output because I um, can't think now see 3.56 now if I press this button as you can see nothing happens in other words it's putting too little a voltage on the input of this IC for it to work if I press this one which I haven't changed the resistor of it goes out because I've still got 4.8 volts on there it's enough to turn to act as a logic level high whereas on this one that 3.56 volts isn't enough to make the IC think that it's a high level. I've got another one here. I'm just going to put this in parallel with the um, other resistor. So that's basically two 1.5K resistors. So that's um, half of 1.5K, 700 and whatever. So now when I look at it, I've now got... 5 volts which is more than enough to turn that LED off because I found that about 4.5 volts seem to do it uh, so yeah resistor divider turn that off your resistor divider needs to give you the appropriate voltage level so that the IC says oh that's a logic level high I can um, I can operate whereas when it's too low it wouldn't operate but there we go simple as exceptionally simple circuit set simple IC sorry um, does one thing four in one package there you go so there you have it CD 4001 two input NOR gate. It's a simple IC, does a very basic simple job. You get four in one package. Um, what can I say about this? I mean obviously it's a logic level, it's a logic part of logic circuit so um, yeah I presume somewhere when you need to use some sort of logic level to not get something when you have an input, well there, there you go, NOR gate. Give it a try, have a look. What can I say? Anyway, for like this video Give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. Subscribe and all comments are welcome. See you next time.